Hello, welcome to Quack Talk. I'm Crystal here in ThinkTech. Wow, this is our last show before 2017. I hate saying last because it's never really the last, but we're going to kind of do something to get you forward to the next level. I'm talking about exercise today. Now, a lot of women, you know, we're all fitness freaks out there, I know, especially in Hawaii, but what happens when you get older and you feel like you want to be fit in a way that will challenge yourself and keep yourself strong inside, outside, and be independent and be able to just kill anything you want to do, right? So today we're going to talk about that. We've got um, an amazing fitness freak, I want to say, <laughs> because she gets everyone out there to really, really bust yourself out and feeling good. Um, fitness for women of all ages, but we're going to focus a little bit on what happens. You're all going to get old. What's going to happen to you when you have like a less bone mass and when you can't walk up those stairs? How do you keep fit? Well, we've got amazing Amanda Delson. Is that how you pronounce yes, it? Yes. Amanda from Kaya Fit here. Welcome to our Thank show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So can you give mm. us a little background about why you created Kaya Fit and why just for women? Yeah, so actually Kaya Fit is a franchise. So it started in Nevada oh. say about 10 years ago. Um, the founder's name is Nikki Warren. And she actually started it because she owned gymnastic studios. And she would see the moms bring their kids. And huh. the kids would do all these fun things and be <laughs> active. And she thought, you know, the moms are sitting on the sidelines. When did we stop playing and stop being active and having fun? What a fun? good question. When did we stop playing? Yeah, you know, I get women who try jump roping. Like, I haven't done this since I was 12. Jump yeah. roping is fun. It's great for you. So we try to bring those things back in, and um, she started it in Nevada. It's grown. There's 50 something locations now, and oh. we're the first in Hawaii. So we're the only right. one on all the islands. And um, I brought it over here about four years ago, uh -huh. and yeah, it's been going great since. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, so, what do you think about the Hawaiian concept of fitness compared to, let's say, California, where you're from? Yeah. Well, I mean, everyone here wants to be outside all yes. the time. So you know, we have a gym where we are indoors, but we try to take it outside as as much as we possibly can. Try to be active. You know, you can. We talk about bikini season in yeah. California, and that's <laughs> not like, that's what? all year it's round here. Yeah. So people want to stay fit. They want right. to be active. Um, there are people outside running and being active all the time. So Such a nice energy. Yeah, so it's really fun to get out and kind of do that with the community. Yeah. So I know we're going to go and focus a little bit on um, aging women, but mm -hmm. well, let's start from like the beginning years. Um, is it ever too young to exercise, or are there certain things that can be damaging to your, you know, growing? You know, I don't think so. I think that it's, I mean, of course, there can be things that are damaging. You don't want to send an eight-year-old out there with 100 you pounds over right? their head. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and before they're, you know, fully developed. But we want you to be active when you're young. If you can yeah. start a program young and be active and healthy, aging is going to be so much easier. Yes. Um, it's never really too late. You can join okay. at any time, and you can start your fitness journey at any point. But if you can start when you're young, that's fantastic. But there's a big difference with people who have started when they're younger as opposed to starting later in their years? Well, and yeah, I'd say you have to start slower when you're older. So if you start in your 60s, the first time you've ever worked out, you're going to have to start from a different place than yes. if you've been you an athlete. You can't compare with the lady next to you who's been lifting. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So that's why it's never about competing, especially with our exactly. program. It's about just competing with yourself. So yeah. you're trying to do something better than you did last week, last year. I think we have a couple of photos of uh, your classes. I mean, if we can take a look at them. And just to kind of get an idea of what Amanda does in the classes. So what is this? This is just like a kind of a ball bearing? Yeah, so we have these little weights. We call them um, handbags. We make them from sand and oh. um, duct tape. We use kettlebells as well. But this uh -huh. is a really good, not intimidating way to start out. Uh -huh. So we're just doing sit-ups, and we're passing them back and forth, That's getting good. that weight bearing exercise in. Right. And it's a little communication. is the woman thing going on. You have a team yes, thing. And definitely. It's, it's way more fun to do something when someone's pushing you. You also work True. a lot harder. If, you know, I'm doing a sit-up by myself and I'm tired, I might take it easy. Right. But if you're on the other end and I have to you pass you that ball, that ball, yeah, exactly. You're a little more um, accountable. Yeah. Right. Um, so you, but what about, like, um, older women who've, you know, post-babies, post-menopause, mm -hmm. is it true that, you know, with the lack of bone mass, you know, you need to use more weights, but then if you haven't started with weights, then mm -hmm. where do you even start You from? just start slow. So body weight movement is a great place to start, especially if you haven't worked out in a long time. Um, you know, we can start slow and then eventually ease up, but there are now studies that say that weight-bearing exercise and plyometrics, so small jumping movements, uh -huh. actually help build your bone density. Okay. So, you know, we slowly start movements. to, yeah, so just little tiny movements. Yeah, um, like this one? Yeah, so these are agility ladders, uh -huh. so we just kind of run and jump through them. We usually have at least two setups. We have a level 
people who want to go a little slower, uh -huh. maybe if they have any kind of injuries, they right. can be a little more careful. And then we have the ones who want to go super fast and kind of race through it. So, okay, well, that's the thing. With a team, and you overworking if you don't know your limit yes and she also you know she'll get hurt and she does kind of um, you know not compare but she's like I can do that I want to do what those women are doing so she'll do it and sometimes you get injuries just from sure you know exercising so she'll have like an, a foot or ankle injury and she'll push a little too hard so I'm always kind of like back off yeah do some yoga, Calm down, do some, exactly right. um, but listening to your body resting when you need to huge. you know and yeah. and it's just been so huge for her yeah and it's not about you know looking a different way or anything although she right. has had physical changes right but it's about having that um, independence back she doesn't need help from anybody I mean my dad will offer to help her pick something up and she's like I don't need it I got it you know that's a very important um, aspect of independence nobody okay. thinks about aging women and how strength training can kind of give you that independence in, the, in your big life forward yeah I mean, even think about just living alone and yeah. like we said opening a jar or right. um, carrying your groceries or putting something up above your head right. getting something down being able to do that on your own gives you this this sense of independence that I think is really important as we age. But to back up a little bit, before you get to that point where you mm -hmm. saw that transition in your mom, yeah. is a lot of um, aging people 
don't get to that point because they feel like they, they write it off already. They mm -hmm, don't even definitely. think they have a chance or um, the ability yeah. to do that. That's where she was, you know, okay, a few right. years ago. So um, starting, I guess she must have been 64 when she started, and the idea of starting a major program like that for her was was really daunting, but it just, I mean, I'm very persistent, so I just pushed her. She's so just like, oh, um, mom, come Yeah, try come try it, come try it. But I think starting easy and just knowing that no matter where you are, there's no shame in that, you know? Right. It's, we have women who are super athletes, and then we yeah. have women who have never worked out a day in their life, right. you know? So and just, there's also that middle age kind of um, heavy area where you kind of feel complacent about life. Nothing's really yeah. um, invigorating or inspiring you to Definitely. do anything. And mm -hmm. you need to kind of kick your butt. Yeah, literally. and just have fun. And yeah. the, the best exercise routine is something that you enjoy. If you say, I, I need to lose weight, I'm going to go run on the treadmill every day, and you hate running on the treadmill, yeah. you'll never stick to it, and you'll be miserable. Right. So do something, if it's surfing, if it's yeah. stand-up paddle yoga, right. whatever inspires you and makes you have fun, yes. that's what that's what will get you to your right. goals, you know. But to put a group of people with all different ages in the mm -hmm. same class, yeah. as opposed to like catering one to like older women, mm -hmm. what, what do you think the difference in dynamics so, is? Well, what we do is we, we do three levels of every exercise oh, okay. that we teach. So we'll be working out at the exact same time together, yeah. but we just do it in a different, a different way. So we call them balance, strength, and Kaya levels. And what that really means is low impact, a okay. little more intense, and then a higher impact. Right. Um, so it can be adding weight, adding speed at the top level. But if you just, just are starting out, low impact, take it easy, work on form, work on learning the exercises. Um, but we can be doing that next to each other, and I can be cheering you on, and you can be cheering me on. Right. And on we're not doing level. the same thing. Exactly. Right. It's when you get into that competitive, yeah. you know, when it's a race. We never compete. We never try to finish faster than the person next to us. It's just about um, in inspiring each other and motivating each other yeah. to, to be their best. Self. How do you make it fun? We change the workout every day. Okay. So you'll so you create do different obstacle courses or sometimes, yeah. Sometimes we do that. Um, sometimes we do games. So we'll oh. pull out a deck of cards. Oh, really? Each, a yeah, game game? Yeah, yeah. Each <laughs> card will. I mean, kind of. Each yeah, card yeah. will be a different exercise, oh, and good. you know, you'll end up thinking it sounds fun, but it can be really hard. But this goes back to when we started the interview. Is you said that a lot of people think, you know, moms, hey, when do we get to play? That exactly. whole concept is just yeah. kind of like, oh, it's no, it's gone. Yeah, you don't. I mean, some it works for some women to go or some people to go to the gym and just do the same machines every day. That works for some people, right? but it did, never worked for me. So getting into a room where I'm now, I know all these women in my class, we're all friends, right. and I want to know what, what they're doing. If I miss a class, I'm like, yeah. man, I feel like I miss the fun, you know? Right. So we change the exercises, we do games, we do, um, we go outside, we stay inside, right. we just mix it up all the time. And isn't there the concept that you should um, try something new every day? Yeah. It, it's hard to, you think, but mm -hmm. actually there are lots of things that we've never done before. Yeah, right? even if you are doing coming to Kaya every day and yeah. you just make it a little bit harder one day, maybe right. add, a, add a weight or do something a little more challenging. Yeah, mix it up. Yeah, and then again, accomplishing that, that challenge feels amazing. Right. It's such an accomplishment. Are there a list of things that maybe you can um, recommend for, let's say, women over 60 to do? Yeah, I would say starting with low impact. Okay. So um, squats, sit-ups push-ups. Those kind of things are great. Yeah. And if they're too hard in the beginning, you just start lower. So start on your knees, you know, yeah. start on the wall. So instead of um, being down on the ground, you just start up with so a wall. So leaning against the wall? Yeah, kind exactly. Of so it just makes those a little bit easier for you yeah. um, instead of putting all of that weight. Yeah. And then we do squat jumps, those kind of things. Squat, come up to your tippy toes instead of jumping, you know, right. build up those muscles in your ankles. What if you have knee problems? If you knee problems, you just want to make sure you're doing it a little more carefully, so okay. no impact, so no jumping. Okay, um, you but you should still bend your knees. Yeah, you, you still want to bend your knees, and those. just making sure you have the right form. Okay. So, and if you're not in a group class with someone, look on YouTube. Look, you know, find find videos that show okay. you exactly. So you have to be tech savvy too, though. For a lot of well, women. you know, I mean, squats are pretty basic. That's just true. making sure that the knees We're don't go We're gonna do that later. We'll do a little yeah. demo later, so yeah. don't go away. But oh, well, before we go, mm -hmm. um, like joints. A lot of mm -hmm. older women have problems with joints. Like you said, mm -hmm. your mom couldn't open a yeah. jar. So how do you strengthen that? Well, she's gotten her strength from when we're doing in the gym, you know, you're picking up the weights, you're holding them, you're doing different exercises, yeah. and you don't realize you think you're doing a push-up, but you're using you're, everything. Ah. You know, yoga is really great for that. Yes. If you're not ready for high-impact exercise, right. yoga, putting totally. all that uh, weight onto yeah. your hands. Yeah. Um, and then just, if you feel tired, take it easy, yeah. step off a little bit. Um, okay. But yeah, strengthening, strengthening your upper body and, and your core is really important. Okay. So, 
hold on to that thought because when we come back, we're going to do like some demos. I don't know how, but Amanda in this small studio space is going to show us how we can kind of strengthen ourselves within even a small space. No excuses, even if you're not outdoors. We'll do it, okay? So don't go away. Think Tech Hawaii covers stories that matter to tech and to Hawaii. I'm Elise Anderson. And I'm Kaui Lucas. For our show next time, we're doing a Think Tech special, Home Alone and Homeless Alone at Christmas. We want to learn more about the isolated, disconnected people alone in our community. Lots to come on Think Tech. Tune in 10.30 p.m. this Sunday. See you then. Welcome back to Quack Talk, talking about fitness for all ages, men and women, but um, particularly women because we're talking a lot of women on their own when they get older, what's going to happen? People feel like, oh, I'm just so dependent on people. You don't want to be. Nobody wants to be dependent, right, Amanda? So uh, Amanda from uh, uh, Kaya Fit is here to discuss all that. Um, before we get into the actual demos, let's talk a little bit about the cultural differences of um, the concept of fitness because you know I lived in Hong Kong for over 25 years and the girls there would always think slim it means fit mm -hmm. so sure they look great in clothes but you take it off and it's like just bones and skin over the bones and it's yeah just, they call it skinny fat yes, <laughs> yes and there's no shape to that um, here on the other extreme I'm not trying to diss some but uh, some Americans have that super bulky maybe that was more the 80s thing you know the real bulk it's back look. in now I think yes, yeah. it is, isn't it? yeah definitely. you know so you know where do we place that beauty of fitness I think it just is so important to not focus on that stuff because okay good especially like you said it, it used to be popular to be, to be this way yeah. or that way yeah well it's not what's important is how you look you know and if you focus on on, now it's all about strong. So you see those ads, it's less about being skinny, it's less about losing weight, it's more yeah. about looking strong, which right. is great because strength is wonderful. But if you don't look that way, then are you not beautiful exactly. anymore? Right. So I think just just focusing on what makes you happy, what makes you yeah. feel good. And what uh, does it mean to look strong anyway? Does it mean you have to have... I know this guy from Hong Kong, he's like five foot two, mm -hmm. and he had massive muscles, but he never worked out his legs. So he's oh, yeah. like this chicken with like... <laughs> you know that Always skip leg day. Yeah, yeah, I do. A lot of men don't like to work out their legs. So they do that. It's weird. Yeah, and it's, yeah. but it's, what's important is being healthy and active. So we, with our gym in particular, we say we want you to be good at Kaya, but great at life. Uh -huh. It's about functional fitness. Right. So every Everyone's goals are going to be different, but when it comes down to it, is it important that you look good in your swimsuit? Maybe to you that's important. As you age especially, that's not going to be your goal anymore. Right. What's important is what can you do? Do you want to live 105 years of an unhealthy but skinny right. life, or do you want to live 105 amazing years where you, you can feel. Yeah, you feel good, you can do the things you want to do, keep up with your kids and your And grandkids. you know what a good, um, you think about the people who do put too much focus on their um, image, mm -hmm. is they start doing plastic surgery, yeah. they do everything from outside in, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day, things still kind of droop and do with weird things to your body, and Definitely. then it's like worse than ever. And what's important is, is fueling your body with the right foods yes, as well. It's not just about fitness, it's right. about fueling your body for performance. And right. that performance could be maybe running yeah. a marathon. It could also just be waking up and taking care of your kids in the morning. Right. So whatever you need to do in your life, you just want to make sure that you're the healthiest, happiest person you can be. Exactly. And I think you can healthy and happy at whatever work you do. Because I have a lady, I have a friend who does like, um, you know, spa treatments, and she, her arms are buff because she yeah. uses, but she enjoys it, so she yeah. uses her arms. And exactly. Like, wow. Going back to doing something that you enjoy. If, exactly. if you stick to something because you enjoy it, then yeah. you know, if you have a baby, use that as a way. Yeah, you know, exactly. There's so things, many, right? you watch YouTube, there's so many videos of moms and dads working out with their little infants they should. and kids. Throwing up in the air. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great them. exercise. No, but tell me this mm. this is the flappy arm thing with uh, the older ladies. Mm. No matter what you do, is that something we can't? Uh, everyone's body mechanics are different, okay. so it's going to depend on genetics, but there are so many exercises for your arms that you can do. Can we do some that. here? Yeah, I mean, we don't have our weights, but we have our water bottles. Water, if you don't have yes. weights, you can use water bottles. We've got yes, yes. two. <laughs> so um, obviously this isn't going to give you a whole lot of um, strength training, but, but we can show. It starts with the Yeah, idea. so if you want to work on upper body, a good, um, it's kind of boring to just sit here and do bicep yeah. curls, right? I like to mix it up. Okay. We do a curl. You can do a press overhead uh -huh. and then those tricep extensions. Right. So triceps, this area you're talking about right here. Yes. Is your triceps. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you're so working those out. So can you get a out. heavy can at home and do that? Yeah, you I mean, could do that. Cool. You could also, obviously we can't do it here, but you can sit down on uh, the ground. You'd have your hands on the ground yeah. and you would and be doing. Up. Mm -hmm. so, so that's all ages. Perfect. That's not 
that's not as long as impact. you're as long as you're not doing it you know if you're doing it up on this table you're gonna put a lot more impact so doing right. on the ground keeping your hips down on the, on the ground, ground. Right. so you're sitting all the way you're yeah. just bending the elbows slightly yeah. you'll instantly feel that in your in yeah. tricep so just working on you know, so people who are in the muscles. office a lot they should have a chance to that's just hold on to their chair and absolutely. do those kind of front yeah. yeah or even sit down sitting down on the ground if you want a little less impact with it yeah um, grabbing a weight resistance band we don't have any today but those are those are great because they're lightweight, you can yeah. pack them in your suitcase. You know, if, yeah. if you need to go travel or something, there's right. never really an excuse to not put a resistance band and a jump rope in your suitcase. Okay. They're tiny and you can do so many things with them. And there's usually an excuse people when they say they travel, they're out of their routine, they can't go and work out. Yeah, but it's not even right. adding like 10 minutes in your in your hotel room yeah. before you go to bed. Yeah. yeah, it's not gonna be the same as an hour intense workout at the gym, right. but it's gonna give you something. Right. It's gonna help you. Well, you know, even though we're, I guess for all ages, again, everybody, you said it, the bikini body isn't that important, which is true. But at the same time, people still wanna keep their butts firm. Yeah. You know, we go in the streets and you admire somebody with a nice pert <laughs> bum. So that's the I, new that, That's the new thing too. Right. Before it was the big. And your boobs muscles. are gonna sag yeah. anyway. That's just age, no matter what. But you can keep your bum you tight. Build that booty. You can. So how are we gonna build that booty for 2017? <laughs> okay. So we can do a few exercises standing okay. up here. Okay. Um, carefully. All right. Um, we don't have a whole lot of space, but All right. well, they um, can squats that out. are always a great exercise. All right. You know. Um, so if we want, we can face each other okay. um, or maybe face the screen. So we can just do some regular squats, making okay. sure that the knees don't go past your toes. So you want to sit down kind of like if you think about sitting on a public toilet and you don't want to, you don't want to sit well, on it, right? Well, in China, they squat. You yeah, gotta, exactly. That's, that's oh, exactly. Okay. <laughs> just like that. So you're just going to squat down and yeah. then as we come up, we uh -huh. can do a little leg lift on the side. So Ooh. get that outer Okay, so you got to have coordination too. Tips. Yeah, make sure you don't fall over. Okay. Um, so you would just switch sides each time. But also coordination helps with your brain cells too, right? Mm -hmm. You're focusing Definitely. and doing, we got to keep talking yeah, okay. and doing so it. We're keep because going. this is a talk test, I heard, <laughs> that you have to, like, how many are we going to do? Well, we, Let's we do talk. five. Okay, five. Um, they we would switch sides. That, we, oh, so how would we switch sides? We're well, we're not now, but we, okay, well, we typically right. would. All right, but we'll just work at our, at right, our leg. More. But um, the talk test, because a lot of people say you have to have the cardio and you have to be able to continue conversation. Yeah. I know guys can't multitask, so forget it, you know, but we can't. So, right? Great for women. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right, and then we're still talking about building up our glutes. So we can okay. hold on to something. You can even uh, face forward or to uh -huh. the side, and yeah. you just kick straight back. So keeping the okay, foot flat just using, doing and engaged. Yeah, right. keeping your core nice and tight. Yeah. And then you're just squeezing glutes. Yeah. So you can also bend the knees. Yeah. We call those donkey kicks. Yeah. So here. Yeah. Does it really help change the shape of your booty? Because I know, like, us Asian women are all flat. <laughs> So, we can give you a little bit of a lift, definitely. It, yeah. Have you seen those? Um, I don't know those Japanese. They have like these tushy pads to make your butt. Yeah. Look well, I mean that's silly, right? I mean. It, right. It's, Thank you for saying that. It's, it's culturally again going back. Everybody has different shapes. Exactly. And then focusing on just what works for you. With, right. Maybe, it sounds cheesy, but beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. It's all in how you feel. So if you feel strong, if you feel accomplished, if you feel like you can do squats, if you could pick up heavy things, you can do all these things on your own. You tend to stop worrying so much about having the perfect butt, you know? See, I'm so glad that you, you, you ha you're just bringing it back to the essence of what it means to be healthy. But before you had this healthy concept, mm -hmm. when you were a teen, go back to, did you ever have low times when you didn't feel oh, that absolutely. way? absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I still do. You, you always do. You know, you have those days where you don't feel good or if you start to compare. Yeah. You know, social media is the worst for that. It's it great is. for some things, but all, all it is now is is having the best body and showing it on Instagram. Well, this is the scary thing because my daughter's 13 and all they can do, you know, all her friends, yeah. is just mm -hmm. selfies, selfies, selfies. Yeah. And you post it up and what does that do to your concept of your self beauty? It definitely it's makes you feel less than if you aren't exactly like they look. And when you think about it, you're seeing the perfect angle mm. of that person. You know, they're not gonna show their what they really look like. They're right. gonna show exactly what they want the world to see. So comparing your everyday to someone else's perfect moment, perfect lighting, perfect image on the internet is gonna make you feel like crap. Yeah. So it's all about just getting healthy, being well, how active. Do you get, how do you get teens to get that right concept? Or is that just the phase that you, you know, have to kind of muddle I, through? That one, that's hard. I don't have I know. kids yet. I don't know. I don't but know. But you were one before. I was one and I think I did struggle with that a lot when I was younger. I wasn't as active. Um, having them be in sports, having them be active and doing fun things and showing them, especially women, that they can be more than just what the images are of themselves, you know? Yeah. So, um, like, Girls on the Run is a really great program. Girls on um, the Run. Yeah, it's, they have a local chapter. Oh. It's young girls in um, elementary school. They go and do these runs, 5Ks, uh -huh. and it's so cool to see. It's one of, they're one of our partners to see their um, accomplishment after the 
how you know how long their training is. Right. Um, and focusing on those kind of things instead of focusing on Instagram. You know, like how can you how can you look the best in your bikini? It's you more see, about what you can accomplish. Yeah. You know, all those stupid them. Kardashian shows and all that yeah. stuff. It's just like so it's it's just oh, yeah. you know. Have them focus on you know, accomplishing some ma major goal. Maybe it's to run a five K or maybe they want to get into strength and fitness. Yeah. And do that kind of thing right. instead. So how would you um I don't know, for the 2017 kind of a concept of, mm -hmm. of health and fitness, I know mm -hmm. we've gone through it many times about the inner beauty and inner strength and mm -hmm. being able to be independent and all that, but what are some tips that we haven't heard in terms of just kind of your, your goal into the new year? I think just take it one day at a time. You know, don't, don't look at the beginning of the year, and I, I, New Year's resolutions are wonderful, but they're also you a lot of people. Digest. Yeah, you know, oh, I want to lose 20 pounds next year, and and then or, they go into like a binge diet or something. Yes, exactly. Ridiculous. Or even something that's not specific. If your goal is to lose a certain amount of weight, focus on how you're going to do it. Don't focus on that weight. Focus on what am I going to do to get there. So if that means I'm going to go to the gym every day, or maybe five days a week for the next month, that's my goal. Stick to that. That's something you can one. Yeah. actually write out and see and plan right. for, you can accomplish it yeah. pretty easily, you know, yeah. if you stick to it for yeah. four or five days a week, yeah. and then those results will come. So stop focusing on the results so much yeah. and what you want to get, what you want to look like. Right. Focus on how to get there. So we focused a lot on how women should see themselves and where the beauty and strength comes from, but what about a few tips for the boys out there, the men who have partners, who have mothers or daughters, yeah. and how they should support kind of this concept of strength? Always be supportive. I mean, my husband, I call him Kaya husband, team husband, you know, team uh -huh. Kaya. He's always supportive of everything that I want to do. You know, if I'm stronger and healthier, then that's going to make our family stronger sure, and healthier. Sure, exactly. Um, typically, women and families are the ones in charge of what's being fed, you know, what they're oh, yeah, eating. Oh, yeah, we're the boss at Yeah, home. exactly. So um, being supportive and getting out there and doing those things with with your spouse. Do you or, work out with your husband? Um, I do, yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, he goes through phases where sometimes... He goes to your class or do you no, watch him? <laughs> no, it, actually right now he's at the gym. Re we're renovating our gym, so he's there right, right now painting it and doing all that stuff. Um, working on the gym, but he can't actually work out there because it's all women. <laughs> all right. Oh, we go oh on that's the right. We go the... sometimes together and work out when... It, when. Okay, here's a question. Yeah. Now, transgender is like a big issue mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So w w where does that line cross? Is that okay? As far as our gym, yeah. we're open to anything and anyone. <laughs> yeah, that crazy? Because, you know, now that you have a gender issue, like this is a four-women thing. Yeah, um, if, if anyone wanted to come into our gym and came and talked to me, absolutely. We're <laughs> open. We, everyone deserves to be healthy and happy. And Absolutely. Yeah, it's... How can people find issue. you? Um, so our website is www.kayafitoahu.com. Um, we're located in Kaimuki. So we are, um, if you've been to Cocoa Head Cafe, yeah, we're right, right across the street, upstairs. And um, on December 31st, we're doing a free workout at Ala Moana Beach Park. So sometimes we go outside and do fun things like that. We're going to be running in the sand. You know, there'll be options for everyone. Walk, jog, run. What part of Ala Moana? We're going to meet at the Magic Island side. So okay. that Lifeguard Tower 1E. Okay. So, so we'll hear there. that? We're all going to meet there. Oh, oh 7, 7, 7 a.m. <laughs> okay. Bright and early. Yes. Bright and early. New mm -hmm. Year's Eve, the mm -hmm. 31st. Yes. Feel healthy. Be healthy. Look and feel as beautiful as our guest today, mm -hmm. Amanda, here. Thank you so much for Thank all your you. wisdom. And, Thanks uh, for having me. Great to have a healthy New Year ahead. Yeah, all right. New Year. Thank you for you. See you next year. Bye. Bye.